Hi, I'm Sanjay Sadanti, and today I'm going to talk about strategy testing your Python code that uses Amazon S3. I normally talk about three approaches for doing this, but for today's lightning talk, I'm going to focus on just two of them. I want to start by mentioning that I think it's really, really important to test code that interacts with external systems. And I often see people skipping this. I think people do this because it's unfamiliar or intimidating to test external systems. Or I often hear the excuse that you're just testing the API. And I hope to touch on both of those um, points during this talk. So I want to introduce a really simple create, read, update, delete app for recipes that's backed by S3. It's only about 20 lines of code. It's a Python class called recipe. And each recipe has a name and instructions. The class has functionality to look up an existing recipe by its name, has a function to update the instructions for an existing recipe, for deleting a recipe from S3, and finally, for calling save, which actually persists the data to S3. So this is about as simple as it gets. And let's go ahead and start writing tests for it. The first library I want to introduce is called Motto. It's a mock for Botto3. It's a pure Python library that makes it really, really easy to mock out AWS services in your unit tests. With Motto, they provide this mock S3 function. When you call that as a context manager, um, every Botto3 call that happens within that context gets sent to Motto's fake AWS account. So in this case, I, I'm basically starting with a clean slate. So I create a PyTest fixture that even creates the bucket that I'm going to use for my tests. Uh, then let's write a test for the create and get logic. So let's create a new recipe by creating a Python object and then saving it, which should persist it to S3. And then let's try fetching that recipe by its name. I want to assert that we actually get the right data back. The next thing we want to do is test uh, what happens when we try to fetch a recipe that doesn't exist. So the way I'm doing this is with this with pytest.raises syntax is that this unit test will pass if and only if the code inside it actually raises the S3 no such key exception. So here, since I'm trying to fetch the recipe for a sandwich, which doesn't exist, I expect it to raise that exception, and, and therefore the unit test passes. And finally, let's test the delete logic. So uh, let's create a recipe for nachos. And then I'm going to list the contents of the S3 bucket. And I'll assert that there is one file in that bucket and that the name of that key is called nachos. Then I'm going to call delete. And again, I'll list the contents of the bucket. And this time, I'll see that it's empty. So you'll see these are some really simple unit tests for writing S3. And overall, I think Motto does a really good job of implementing the S3 API. It's easy to install. It feels real. And it didn't require any code changes to my application. I also want to introduce a, a second library called LocalStack. LocalStack allows you to bring up an entire AWS Cloud Stack locally. Um, unlike Motto, it's not pure Python. So we need to run it in server mode, meaning we need to bring up the server in something like Docker. Here's my YAML file for it, which um, I will skip for brevity. With LocalStack, uh, we create the S3 fixture slightly differently. Uh, when we're creating the Botto3 client, we specify the endpoint URL, and we point it to where our LocalStack server is running. We Again, uh, this uh, leads us to a fake AWS account. And so I also have to create the bucket. Once this fixture is in place, I'm actually able to run the exact same tests that I used for Motto. It, it basically is a drop-in replacement. I've repeated them below for completeness, um, but, but they're the exact same. So um, I want to talk briefly about what I learned about testing external systems. I think that it's really important to look for mocks that feel realistic. There are like dozens of S3 mocks out there. 
But both Motto and Local Stack implement the API very well and feel really realistic. And uh, I was actually able to drop them in in place of each other, which which made me know that there weren't any peculiarities of one library that were inconsistent. I also realized that this talk might seem very academic, uh, talking about some made up application. But actually testing S3 has helped me catch several bugs in my career, particularly around S3 versioning, how to properly delete versioned objects, and giving me more sanity checks for the ETL process that I manage. If you're leaving this talk wondering which library to use, I, I think you really can't go wrong with either Motto or Local Stack. Both of them actually implement MUX for many other AWS services, not just S3. They can also both be used as servers to test code in multiple languages outside of Python. For Python projects, I think Motto is great because it's pure Python. You just pip install it, and you can import it and start using it right away. On the other hand, local stack requires an extra build step, but its architecture is slightly more realistic. I think you can't go wrong with either solution, but I personally use Motto for Python projects and local stack elsewhere. So thank you so much for uh, watching this talk. Please feel free to reach out to me on Twitter with any questions, and I'd be happy to chat there.